Chapter 7 Now after these things, in the reign of Artaxerxes king of Persia, Ezra the son of Suriah, the son of Azariah, the son of Hilkiah, the son of Shalom, the son of Zadok, the son of Ahidab, the son of Amariah, the son of Azariah, the son of Meraeth, the son of Zerah, the son of Uzi, the son of Bucky, the son of Abishua, the son of Finehouse, the son of Eleazar, the son of Aaron the chief priest. This Ezra went Phipi from Babylon, and he was a ready scribe in the law of Moses, which the Lord God of Israel had Jewin, and the king granted him all his request, according to the hand of the Lord his God fon him. And there went Phipi some of the children of Israel, and of the priests, and the Lewits, and the singers, and the porters, and the Nethanims, and to Jerusalem, in the suant year of Artaxerxes the king. And he came to Jerusalem in the fifth month, which was in the suant year of the king. For on the first day of the first month, began he to go VP for Babylon. And on the first day of the fifth month, came he to Jerusalem, according to the good hand of his God upon him. For Ezra had prepared his heart to seek the law of the Lord, and to do it, and to teach in Israel statutes and judgments. Now this is the copy of the letter that the king Artaxerxes gave unto Ezra the priest, the scribe. You in a scribe of the words of the commandments of the Lord, and of his statutes to Israel. Artaxerxes king of kings, unto Ezra the priest, a scribe of the law of the God of Hohen, perfect peace, and at such a time. I make a decree that all they of the people of Israel, and of his priests, and Lewits in my realm which are minded of their own free will to go VP to Jerusalem, go with thee. For as much as thou art sent of the king, and of his suing counsellors, to inquire concerning Judah and Jerusalem, according to the law of thy God, which is in thine hand, and to carry the silver and gold, which the king and his counsellors how freely offered Vento the God of Israel, whose habitation is in Jerusalem and all the silver and gold that thou canst find in all the province of Babylon, with the free will offering of the people, and of the priests, offering willingly for the house of their God, which is in Jerusalem, that thou mayest buy speedily with this money, bullocks, rams, lambs, with their meat offerings, and their drink offerings, and offer them upon the altar of the house of your God, which is in Jerusalem. And whatsoever shall seem good to thee, and to thy brethren, to do with the rest of the silver and gold, that do, after the will of your God. The vessels also that are due in thee for the seros of the house of thy God, those do lure thou before the God of Jerusalem. And whatsoever more shall be needful for the house of thy God, which thou shalt how occasion to bestow, bestow it out of the king's treasure house. And I, you and I, Artaxerxes the king, who make a decree to all the treasurers which are beyond the rire, that whatsoever Ezra the priest, the scribe of the law of the god of Hohen, shall require of you, it be done speedily, unto an hundred talents of silver, and to an hundred measures of wheat, and to an hundred baths of wine, and to an hundred baths of oil and salt, without prescribing how much. Whatsoever is commanded by the God of Hoin, let it be diligently done, for the house of the God of Hoin, for why should there be wrath against the realm of the king and his sons? Also we certify you that touching any of the priests, and Lewits, singers, porters, nithinims, or ministers of this house of God, it shall not be lawful to impose tall tribute or custom upon them. And thou, Ezra, after the wisdom of thy God, that is in thine hand, set magistrates and judges, which may judge all the people, that are beyond the rirer, all such as know the laws of thy God, and teach ye them that know them not. And to Surya will not do the law of thy God, and the law of the king, let judgment be executed speedily upon him whether it be vento death, or to banishment, or to confiscation of goods, or to imprisonment. Blessed be the Lord God of our fathers, which hath put such a thing as this in the king's heart, to beautify the house of the Lord which is in Jerusalem, and hath extended mercy vento me before the king and his counsellors, 
and before all the king's mighty princes. And I was strengthened as the hand of the Lord my God was upon me, and I gathered together out of Israel chief men to go VP with me. Chapter 8 These are now the chief of their fathers, and this is the genealogy of them that went VP with me from Babylon. In the reign of Artaxerxes the king, of the sons of Phinehus, Gershom, of the sons of Ithamar, Haniel, of the sons of Dod, Haddish, of the sons of Shekinia, of the sons of Farish, Zechariah, and with him were reckoned, by genealogy of the males, an hundred and fifty, of the sons of Path, Moab, Eliani the son of Sariah, and with him two hundred males, of the sons of Shekinia, the son of Iahaziel, and with him three hundred males, of the sons also of Adin, at the son of Ianathin, and with him fifty males, and of the sons of Elim, Ishia the son of Ethalia, and with him suinti males, and of the sons of Shabbatiah, Sabadiah the son of Michael, and with him fourscore males, of the sons of Iob, Obadiah the son of Iel, and with him two hundred and eighteen males, and of the sons of Shelemith, the son of Iosiphia, and with him an hundred and threescore males. And of the sons of Bebe, Zechariah the son of Bebe, and with him twenty and eight males. And of the sons of Asgad, Ianan the son of Hakadon, and with him an hundred and ten males. And of the last sons of Adonicum, whose names are these Eliphalet, Ahel, and Shimea, and with them threescore males. Of the sons also of Bigui, Athai, and Zabad, and with them suinti males. And I gathered them together to the Ryer, that runneth to Aha, and there abode we in tents three days. And I viewed the people, and the priests, and found there none of the sons of Louis. Then sent I for Eliezer, for Ariel, for Shemaiah, and for Ilnathan, and for Irib, and for Ilnathan, and for Nathan, and for Zechariah, and for Meshalem, chief men, also for Irib, and for Ilnathan, men of understanding. And I sent them with commandment Vinto Ido the chief at the place Cassaphia. And I told them what they should say Vinto Ido, and to his brethren the Nethanims, at the place Cassiphia, that they should bring Vinto versus ministers for the house of our God. And by the good hand of our God fond verses, they brought verses a man of understanding, of the sons of Mali the son of Louis, the son of Israel, and Sherbiah with his sons, and his brethren, eighteen, and Hashabiah, and with him Ishiah of the sons of Merari, his brethren, and their sons, twenty. Also of the Nethanims, whom Dod, and the princes had appointed for the Sirius of the Lewits, to hundred and twenty Nethanims, all of them were expressed by name. Then I proclaimed a fast there, at the Rairaha, that we might afflict our cellus before our God, to seek of him a right way for verses, and for our little ones, and for all our substance. For I was ashamed to require of the king a band of soldiers and horsemen, to help verses against the enemy in the way, because we had spoken then to the king, saying, The hand of our God is upon all them for good that seek him, but his power and his wrath is against all them that forsake him. So we fasted, and besought our God for this, and he was entreated of verses. Then I separated Twelu of the chief of the priests. Sherbiah, Hashabiah, and ten of their brethren with them, and weighed vinto them the silver and the gold, and the vessels, even the offering of the house of our God, which the king and his counselors, and his lords, and all Israel there present, had offered. I yun weighed vinto their hand, six hundred and fifty talents of silver, and silver vessels an hundred talents, and of gold an hundred talents, also twenty basins of gold, of a thousand drams and two vessels of fine copper, precious as gold. And I said unto them, Ye are holy unto the Lord. The vessels are holy also, and the silver and the gold are a free will offering unto the Lord God of your fathers. Watch ye, and keep them, until ye weigh them before the chief of the priests, and the Lewits, and chief of the fathers of Israel at Jerusalem, in the chambers of the house of the Lord. So took the priests and the Lewits the weight of the silver and the gold, and the vessels, to bring them to Jerusalem, then told the house of our God. Then we departed from the Ryer of Ahal on the twelfth day of the first month, 
to go into Jerusalem, and the hand of our God was upon verses, and he delivered verses from the hand of the enemy, and of such as lay in wait by the way. And we came to Jerusalem, and abode there three days. Now on the fourth day was the silver and the gold, and the vessels weighed in the house of our God, by the hand of Merimoth the son of Uriah the priest. And with him was Eleazar the son of Phinehas, and with them was Jozebed the son of Ishua, and Nodia the son of Binui Luitz, by number, and by weight of Uri one, and all the weight was written at that time. Also the children of those that had been carried away, which were come out of the captivity, offered burnt offerings unto the God of Israel, twelve bullocks for all Israel, ninety and six rams, suinti and suin lambs, twelve he goates for a sin offering. All this was a burnt offering unto the Lord. And they delivered the king's commissions unto the king's lieutenants and to the governors on this side the rire, and they furthered the people and the house of God. Chapter 9 Now when these things were done, the princes came to me, saying, The people of Israel, and the priests and the Lewits, how not separated themselves from the people of the lands, doing according to their abominations, even of the Canaanites, the Hittites, the Perizzites, the Ibisites, the Ammonites, the Moabites, the Egyptians, and the Amrites, for they how taken of their daughters for themselves, and for their sons, so that the holy seed how mingled themselves with the people of those lands. Yea, the hand of the princes and rulers hath been chief in this trespass. And when I heard this thing, I rent my garment and my mantle, and plucked off the hair of my head, and of my beard, and sate down astonied. Then were assembled Ventomi Uri one that trembled at the words of the God of Israel, because of the transgression of those that had been carried away. And I sat astonied, until the uning sacrifice. And at the uning sacrifice, I rose VP for my hewiness, and having rent my garment and my mantle, I fell upon my knees, and spread out my hands told the Lord my God, and said, O oh my God, I am ashamed, and blush to lift VP my face to thee, my God, for our iniquities are increased o'er our head, and our trespass is growing VP Vento the Hoens. Since the days of our fathers, how we been in a great trespass Vento this day, and for our iniquities how we, our kings and our priests, been delured into the hand of the kings of the lands, to the sword, to captivity, and to a spoil and to confusion of face, as it is this day. And now for a little space grace hath been eschewed from the Lord our God, to low versus a remnant to escape, and to Jayu versus a nail in his holy place, that our God may lighten our eyes, and Jayu versus a little ruing in our bondage. For we were bondmen, yet our God hath not forsaken verses in our bondage but hath extended mercy vento verses in the sight of the kings of Persia, Jayu verses a ruin to set VP the house of our God, and to repair the desolations thereof, and to Jayu verses a wall in Yuda and in Jerusalem. And now, O oh our God, what shall we say after this? For we have forsaken thy commandments which thou hast commanded by thy servants the prophets, saying the land unto which ye go to possess it is an clean land, with the filthiness of the people of the lands, with their abominations, which have filled it from one end to another, with their cleanness. Know therefore, Jayu, not your daughters unto their sons, neither take their daughters unto your sons. Nor seek their peace or their wealth for you, or that ye may be strong, and eat the good of the land, and lo it for an inheritance to your children for you, or. And after all that is come fond verses for our ill deeds, and for our great trespass, seeing that thou art God, hast punished verses less than our iniquities to zero, and hast drew in verses such delurance as this. Should we again break thy commandments, and I wine in affinity with the people of these abominations? Wouldst thou not be angry with verses, till thou hadst consumed verses, so that there should be no remnant, nor escaping? O Lord God of Israel, thou art righteous, for we remain yet escaped, as it is this day. Behold, 
We are before thee in our trespasses, for we cannot stand before thee because of this.